Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Typewriter video series. I'm Joe Van Cleve, and today I would like to talk about typewriter-themed art, and especially art intended for public typewriter gatherings. About a week or two ago, I was really pleasantly surprised to have received in the mail this wonderful piece of artwork. This is by Joe Tillman. Joe Tillman is a graphic artist, and he designed this poster for the Paper Fingers event, the mechanical typewriting in the digital age that is taking place this coming Friday and Saturday, March 29th and 30th. And I really uh, think this is a fantastic piece of art. I've been fascinated by it ever since I, I received it. And I've actually seen this the art on Facebook postings and blog postings that David Peterson has put out in preparation for this event. And uh, it reminded me that since type-ins have been a thing, uh, people have put out artwork and posters and flyers. And it kind of starts to remind me of the rock and roll music scene in the early 1970s, let's say late 60s to early 70s out in San Francisco when a lot of posters and flyers were being created with really fantastic artwork and they became a genre unto themselves. And I think this work by Joe Tillman kind of raises the bar to the next level as far as typewriter and type-in themed artwork. And I really want to acknowledge Joe Tillman, his artwork, and also David Peterson, his uh, skill in uh, marketing this uh, upcoming event. And uh, it's going to be fantastic to see in the future if there's more of this kind of artwork produced for typewriter gatherings. But I was uh, just thinking here briefly that when I started my first type in here in Albuquerque, I think it was back in 2015, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 2016, I had a poster created by a, a graphic artist. It was really based on one of uh, my photographs that I had uh, made. It reminds me of how important it is if you're organizing a typewriter gathering, a public typewriter event like a type in, how important it is to partner with not only fellow typewriter aficionados who might be supporting you in organizing the event, but partnering with a graphic artist, an artist of some kind that can create artwork to market your event. I think it's really important because the artwork really sets the tone of the event itself. So after having received this piece of art, I began thinking about maybe there is the possibility that there will be a new art movement in terms of typewriter-themed art. If type-ins, public typewriter events continue to proliferate in the future, maybe this is going to be a subgenre, a little niche of art. Going back to the analogy of the early 1970s rock music scene, uh, we are fortunate to have a lot of those original posters and flyers around because some people had the vision and foresight to collect them and save them, but that wasn't always the case. A lot of the reasons why we have that early art is only accidental. Uh, they were found later on, and of course some of this art uh, attains a high degree of value in the art market. But in the case of typewriter-themed art, we're in such a fledgling early phase of it that it really would behoove us to really start thinking about What's the best way to archive this material so other people down uh, in the years to come can enjoy this kind of art as it documents the type-in and typewriter movement? And uh, one of the people that I want to acknowledge right away, is, of course, is Richard Polt, because on his uh, blog, he posts uh, articles of upcoming type-in events, and he includes a flyer or a picture or poster from that event. So it would be great to see that kind of art collected into like a coffee table book to uh, document for history's sake this movement. And it would be wonderful to th see an art gallery show of type-in, typewriter-related art. And if you happen to be in Rockford, Illinois, this coming March 29th and 30th, uh, 2019, go over to the 317 Arts Collective and uh, be part of this event. And I hope you guys have fun with it. And I hope to see David's report from this event. And I'll be keeping touch with you guys in the uh, Facebook Antique Typewriters group as well as your blog. Well, typewriter art is a thing now, and we need to encourage it. And I'd love to see more of this. Okay, until next time, stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.